hello guys welcome once again till now we have made and we have successfully able to save our data delete update or clear our text field and make our j frame like that now i want to uh, teach you something more interesting about deleting when you click j table and this data is represented in this text field and when you click delete button the data is instantly deleted and then when you press ok data is deleted but sometimes you want that was some message should come that in most of the uh, very big project when you delete the data it will ask you whether you want to really delete or save the data so by mistake if you press delete button so the your data your data should not be deleted so for example i will show you an example so in my previous project this i have made and when you press delete button the window will ask you do you really want to delete the data and if you press no then it will not delete the data and if you press yes it will delete your data so let's learn how to do that so go to your delete method like right clicking your delete button event action action perform so we will go directly into the delete action perform method and in this we have already created our delete method and i think i have uh, shown you uh, in the video number 16 how to delete data now we just have to write some line in order to make it ask you do you really want to delete your data so right here int p you can take any variable name then j option p dot show confirm dialog and in the confirm dialog you must write in first we should write null because we don't want this field in second field here first of all i add semicolon in second field you uh, can write your message whatever you want to display at the time of deleting so for example i want to write do you really want to delete i write that then once again comma and in here you can give the name to the message box so i will name as name it as delete and once again comma right j 
option pane dot right yes no option so I would once again tell you what I have written when I will complete and then below our method here below our first line which we have written you should write a condition if P is equal to 0 this P is same as this int P which we have declared earlier so this if P is equal to 0 and we have to enclose our, our hold delete method in the this if condition so first parenthesis I make it here and other closing parenthesis here you can see if statement is closing our delete method okay and when now when we run the program and when we want to delete the data it will ask you do you really want to delete which is our message and this is the delete which we have given the name to this box so for now I will click no because I don't want to delete my data and I will show you once again the code so you remember it just go to your delete action perform method write int p give any variable name is equal to j option pane dot show confirmation dialog and in the bracket null comma the message you want to display when you are deleting the data comma the name of the frame which is opening comma j option pane dot yes no option and then in the next line if this p is equal to zero and you have to enclose in the condition your previous delete code which you have written already and which I have shown already in the video 16 and then it will ask you whether you want to delete the data or not so once again I will try to run the program I choose 4 and I press delete and it will ask me do you want to delete the data and I, if I will say yes data will be deleted and you can see this data is already deleted from here so that was a tutorial on how to make a condition I hope you have enjoyed and please rate, comment and subscribe and bye for now.